Hi guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial video. In this one, we will be doing the inventory. So, a couple things we need to do. Open your content browser, go to third person, blueprints, and create new folder. This folder will be called widgets. Go ahead and open that. Right click. In user interface, we create new widget blueprint. User widget and we name this inventory underscore widget. Open that up. And here in the palette, we just need to type in canvas panel. Canvas panel, there we go. Canvas panel. So here, if you click on this icon here and move it, you can see the default screen size as well. I like to change mine to 1920 that's my default screen size as well you will be resizing it automatically so second thing we need to do here is border copy the border in the canvas panel this will basically be our inventory um, i like to have size let's say maybe 600 times 600 and we move it on the this side of the screen um, you can make color slightly darker, that's in the brush and tint. And just for now we can style it later. And I'm also gonna type in image, put image in my canvas panel. This is just gonna be a background, because I don't like to see the vault, I just like to have a closed inventory. So, go to anchors. Type in full anchors and then just put offsets as zero. That will be the background for the whole inventory. And then just make this Z order minus one. So it's behind the inventory. Cool. That's inventory done. Now to open this widget, we go to play blueprint. Here, right click and type in keyboard. Keyboard. Um, whatever button you want to use. I is a standard maybe, but I like to use tab. Um, and on pressed, we do flip-flop. So it basically alternates between two outputs. So what we're going to do, A1 is going to be create a widget. Create a widget. There we go. The widget that we're creating is the inventory that we just done. Uh, here, from the return value, we promote this to the variable. That is going to be our inventory reference. So inventory ref. Or we can use later. We add this inventory to the viewport. Add it to the viewport. And then we also need to show mouse cursor. So we get play controller, play controller, and show mouse cursor. Get show mouse cursor. Sorry, you need to do set show mouse cursor. There we go. We put it to true because it doesn't do it automatically in Unreal. And now in the second one, so in the second one, we get the inventory reference first, get the inventory reference, and we remove that from the, par from the parent, remove from parent. Connect it here and copy the show mouse cursor. So we switch it off after we close the inventory. Connect the play controller, and that should be it. Compile and save. Launch your game. If I press tab, I will create the inventory full screen. Uh, one thing you could probably you can't see it now, but if you go back to your inventory, image, color and opacity, and decrease the alpha so it's see through. Put it on 0 0.5 and now play the game again. 
you can obviously move your character behind it. I don't like to do it, I like to have it as a pause menu uh, so I can just use the inventory in peace. So what we're gonna do here is game post. Set game post and set it to true. And here set game post we set it to false. Now in a post game we couldn't use the button again so the flip-flop wouldn't work. We need to do is go to tab and execute when post. So you need to do it for everything, every button that you want to use while the game is paused. Once that's done, the game is paused, character can't move anymore. Now, to make an inventory, uh, first thing we can do is go to widgets again, right click, create a new widget. This one is going to be called inventory icon inventory icon underscore widget we open it up and now here we need to once again get the canvas panel we get the border so border uh, we can make this 100 times 100 that's our inventory icon uh, you can anchor it to the middle. Uh, as you can see here, hold shift to update alignment and hold control to update the position. So you can hold control and shift and click and it will align it directly to the middle. Mm. What we can do, zoom in a little bit, get another border, copy it inside here. And this top border is going to have a padding of 5. So you can see outside border is here with the padding of 5 and then the inside border is here so the outside border is going to have a darker tin, tint and then the inside border is going to have a bit lighter tint there we go, we compile it and save now we're gonna go to play BP we're going to create a couple of variables first one is going to be inventory which will hold all the items that we pick up uh, it's going to be type item info s that we created in the previous video and we change it to an array after that we create one more this one is going to be inventory size uh, inventory size is going to be type integer single and we change it to 36 you can change it to whatever you like uh, let's go to invent inventory don't have it open so inventory uh, we go to graph oh, sorry one more thing we need to do here in uh, design we get grid we need to get this grid panel uh, which organizes icon next to each other. This one uses all available spaces so it splits the icon uh, icons. We copy it into border, rename it to inventory grid and tick in is variable. Compile and save. Now we go to the graph here you can just do delete pre-construct and tick and on construct you cast to player bp as an object we get player character and then we promote this to variable this is going to be our player reference so we can access all the variables from the player now we're going to create a custom event so custom event add custom event uh, this is going to be build inventory what we need to do is type in for loop not for each loop but just for loop um, we get the player reference get the inventory size 
uh, we could just connect it to the last index here but since the first index is zero it will create one extra slot so subtract one connect it to the last index and now for each loop of inventory size we're going to create the inventory icon create a widget is going to be inventory icon and then we need to add it to the grid that we created so we get inventory grid uh, just type in grid add child to grid connect it here return value from the inventory icon is going to be here column we promote variable sorry row and a column we promote variable as well compile it and then change it as a default value to one so it's easier to calculate now after we add the first icon to the grid we need to uh, get the column and increment it so plus plus and increment and now press b click for branch now if obviously if the column is now larger greater than let's say six because we got 36 slots so we can do six by six times six if it's larger then we first we set it to zero set it to one set it to one again and we increment the row this time cool so now we got the function that will basically for whatever inventory size we set it will loop it create the icon widget add it to the grid and that will create the whole inventory uh, we need to call this function as well here so just type in build inventory so once the inventory is opened it will build the inventory you can compile it and save and let's see now when we play the game press tab we got the inventory here cool so in the next video we can actually instead of destroying objects we can add it to player inventory and then display it in the inventory grid. Uh, see you in the next one.